Hi again, everyone. Welcome to UWBadgers.com. I'm Mike Lucas. My special guest today is Mark Silverman, the president of the Big Ten Network. How are you doing, Mark? I'm good good seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you. Great to be in Madison. Well, we're all on a journey one way or another. <laughs> and your special sequence of shows during the basketball season, The Journey, has been a hit. Tell us a little bit about the genesis. Yeah, you know, originally when we, we started our second year, we did a journey following... Um, Ron Zook and the Illini football team, and we did one following Tubby Smith and the Minnesota basketball team. And it was, it was interesting content, but something just seemed missing. And, and after the, the, the Tubby Smith version, we sat down, and, and, and it kind of just dawned on me. It's like, we, we can't just follow one program. We have to figure out a way to follow every single program throughout the season. And what it did is required a, a significant increase in how we would have to do this. Multiple, fo multiple production teams following different programs, following a team one week, then following some other teams the next couple weeks, coming back in and following the storyline. And so what you'll watch, what you'll see now on this, this year's version of The Journey and last year's, is you'll follow the entire Big Ten um, uh, uh, conference. So one week we may focus on Wisconsin and Minnesota and, and Illinois and the next week it could be Ohio State and Penn State and Michigan. So we, we give everyone glimpses of what's going on at each of the different programs and we really try to get into the behind the scenes. What are these players like? What do they do when they're not on the court? What are, what are these coaches all about? And go into the locker rooms and the practice facilities and the dorm rooms if we can. And, and we think, you know, you want to see as much as you can about the teams you enjoy. And, and that's really been a, been a great inspiration for our, produ our producers. Mike, where do you get the storylines? Uh, suggestions? Or yeah, do you do your own research? Yeah, it's a combination, right. It's a combination of both. We, we're in contact with all the school's um, athletic departments where they let us know of an interesting story going on with, with one of their players. We are you know, very in tune with each of the programs as well. We may know of something in particular that would be interesting if some kid overcame know a, a really serious injury when they were younger or they they came from really humble origins and now they're you know in the limelight of big time college basketball you know, we're very much on the outlook we this on this week's episode Darius Morris was friends um, with a kid in high school recently passed away from a disease and he he, he um, writes his letters on his um, on his socks and he's very close with the family so these human interest and stories. And I know Keaton Ankerville has Keaton been Ankerville featured. Keaton Ankerville with a balloon, with, a, with his Right, and then the Brett balloon. Valentine and his family. Right, right. Uh, and another that's, topic. And that's, you know, and that's the stuff we want to, we want to cover. You know, th something that fans won't ordinarily know. I don't know if the word is sequel, but the offshoot of the journey is now in the process of development, including a J.J. Watt from Wisconsin. Tell yeah, us a little bit so, about so that. This is, um, it is sort of an off, it's an offshoot, I guess. Okay, it's, that's it's, it's fair. It's a fair, fair word. Um, what we wanted to do is, is, is show what... Um, collegiate football players um, that are getting ready for the NFL draft, what's going on in their lives, how they're working out, what are they thinking about mentally, what are the NFL scouts saying about them, show what they're doing at the combines, really go in depth and, and we're, we're launching the show for the first time called Path to the Pros. We're following four um, Big Ten athletes including J.J. Watt and we're just um, getting some great stuff. The first episode is Wednesday, this Wednesday and every other week we're going to be able to have enough content to put together a new episode. And it's going to be really interesting to see. We have some, some guys like JJ that are, you know, surefire first-round picks. And a couple other guys that, that aren't necessarily maybe even going to get drafted or maybe later. And really trying for them to prove themselves as well. So it should be a really interesting show. We're excited about it. One of the great talking pieces for the Big Ten Network, the BTN. And certainly it's something that's... Uh, stirred up interest and passions in every fan base within the league itself has been the Icons series. Right. Because everybody thinks that they know better. <laughs> right? And they all do, of course, right? Have you been the, pleased uh, with the response? Oh, the, the, you know what? It's really funny. It's, it's the icons. I remember when, when I made the decision, we have to order them. And everyone looked at me like I was crazy. And like, you can't order them. You're going to get the schools upset, the fans. And, it's, and I said, you know, if you're selected to be a Big Ten icon, whether you're number five or number eight or number nine, you know, you're a Big Ten icon that's going to have a half-hour show made all about you and your impact and your campus and, and to the conference. And it's been, it's been a, a great show. The fact that we got Keith Jackson to be our host um, blew me away. We pursued him aggressively. Very credible host. My, very, my credi dad. very credible host. And, it, you know, it's an interesting show. You know, I think the, the specific order of the players, um, s some other decisions we had to make along the way that, that at the end of the day sit with me. Um, but it was, it's something that I'm, we're very proud of. We're going to do a coaching icon show next fall. Really? Which we are not going to, we're not going to rank the coaches because what, what we want to do is be able to put the program on when it makes the most sense. So if 
if we have a Wisconsin game, a uh, football game this coming up um, in this fall, we'd like to put the Barry Alvarez coaching icon show on after that game. So it gives people a reason to stick around. And we're going to pick, I believe it's eight or ten of the top coaches in Big Ten history and do a similar show with Keith Jackson again, who just got to Super. agree to do the show for us as well. Hey, um, one final, about that. One yeah. final thought. The Big Ten men's basketball tournament this upcoming week in Indy. Yes. When I walked in here. I mentioned to Mark that the ice is laid down here at the Kohl Center, and he's a basketball fan, which is okay, because we're all basketball fans here, too. Uh, but Jordan Taylor and the Badgers in Indy, that's a pretty good show going right I'm now. Unbelievable. Um, you know, watching, and, and I've, I think I've watched just about every single Big Ten basketball game this year, and, and watching Jordan Taylor and what he's um, lifted the club and, and Laura and Ankeval. I mean, it's, it, it's such a great team to watch. There's such a, it's a really, really unique chemistry, I think, that the Badgers have Very in the court. Um, obviously led by a coaching icon in his own right in, 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 in Bo Ryan. And it's something that when we go to Indy, so I'll be at Indy all next week with all the games, um, watching the, the level of the Big Ten is just, it, it's really special this year. I don't, I don't think the conference has gotten enough credit as to how strong it is. And for, for a team like Wisconsin or Purdue or Ohio State to have this many wins in a conference this tough, night in and night out, where even the last two teams in the conference give you a run for the money. It's really a fantastic conference, and I really um, expect um, the Big Ten to do some damage in the NCAA tournament. This thanks, year. Mark. It's been good talking with you. Thanks a lot. Mark Silverman of the BTN. I'm Mike Lucas, and thanks for watching UWBadgers.com.